Okay, so we have this elbow connection. We have uh, chest, inner gate, outer gate. I've touched his base like in the last video. I've relaxed underneath to float him, pick him up. Now from there, he transfers his weight down onto the feet while I pick him up. And we get this rebounding force. Now I've done a lot of videos on rebounding force. And I just have to be more grounded, put him on, on the trampoline and send the force out. From there, we go, okay, Wing Chun, we want to take the rebounding force to build the fascia, the ground path, the connectivity in Wing Chun movements. I take a Gansau shape, he puts one hand on my elbow, he puts the other hand on my chest. Now I've got my Gan shape there and my chest. And this hand, I just do a Toxau movement under his elbow and then I pick up his base. He can also put this hand down here and put all the pressure onto this arm and then I need to support it with this hand as I relax and ground out my, my gun movement. So I want to use less and less on my toxo hand, my lifting floating hand, and more on my ganso hand. And we want to take this same process, run it through every single movement you have in your Wing Chun arsenal from beginning to end. Now, on the Bong Sao, the, the wing shape, your shoulders are in a much weaker position than when you're in a, in a low position. Here, I've got a strong shoulder alignment. As I lift and rotate, I've got a weaker shoulder alignment. So you must be careful when you're doing the Bong Sao with that lift that you don't tear your shoulder. Most of the other shapes are quite safe. So, revision. He puts a pressure onto my elbow and my chest, I touch his base, I relax under, he transfers his weight more down onto my feet, he stretches, puts his body weight into my body, I drop and I create an a, a, a elastic counter, counter force. That's why we call it elastic force qigong. We're developing elasticity that's tuned into life force. All right. So then he goes to a double connection point, he makes it more stress on my shoulder, so one hand there and there, I touch to support that, and I build the Gan Sao. Then you go through low, we've got high Gan Sao, and she'll be up here, and I repeat the same movement, folding, back fists, you go through every possible angle. Some of them you've got to shoot the person down, so it's good to have a high jump mount when you do that, but um, so they, they land safely. But generally, we're, we're always going to control the stress on our, on our spine so that we don't injure our back. If you're feeding in any downward sort of pattern, let your hip fall away so that you don't pressurize the lower back and get uh, any injuries when you're feeding. Be very creative how you feed to build this elasticity in the body so that power just starts coming out of elasticity. When you stretch your body weight into elasticity, your body weight arrives through it on your hand. The, the bathroom scale exercise, put a set of bathroom scales on the wall, put your knuckles on it, relax and stretch, see what percentage of your body weight you're tra transferring through the pure stretch, not through a kinetic wave. The connected mass amplifies when you wave the force. So when you drop and stretch, obviously you're going to break the bathroom scales because they're just going to spin all the way around the clock a few times and, and tear. So you don't want to do that. You just want to measure connected mass, then you can accelerate the connected mass through dropping into the fascia and you get real power coming out of your body. So write down on a whiteboard next to the scales, you can velcro them up on, onto, onto the wall, find a good strong anchor point, and every day write down, I can get 10 kilos, 11 kilos. Make sure they're analog scales, they're spring type, not digital, digitals don't work too well. And uh, take your time to get to your full body weight. One year should get you to your body weight. Some people do it sooner, some people a bit longer, but that's kind of an average. If you weigh 60 kilos, Within 12 months, you should have 60 kilos measuring on those scales through your punching hand, through your, your, your palm. And uh, that means when you accelerate that mass, you've got a lot of power in your hands. And this is a missing element in most uh, people's training method for developing power, because they're not connecting their mass there. So they accelerate at very high speed, but with low mass, you don't get the power. Force, mass times acceleration. Okay, thank you for your time. See you in the next video.